All I said was, wife, you're the one who brought up her name. Well, when I'm with you, I want to forget that she exists. Sounds like you experienced love at first sight during the picnic. The problem is that she didn't have that same experience. Since I'm working on this documentary, I would like to know what your experience was like. You want me to tell the entire world how I failed to solve a two decade old cold case? Wait, Zeke. Quinn, if I stay here any longer, I'm gonna miss the bus. We both know you don't want me missing school. That's the problem. You missed the bus when school ended. Why didn't you come straight home after school? Unless you're part of some after school club, which we both know isn't the case. We gotta talk about this now? You literally wouldn't talk to me when you got back home yesterday. So yes, we're gonna talk about this now. Where were you after school? Hanging out with some friends. What friends? If I tell you, you wouldn't know them anyway. Whoever you're hanging out with. And they better not be friends from the old neighborhood. I need you to focus on schoolwork before going out wherever on a school night. You know you're annoying when I'd rather go to school than hear this. Zeke. Zeke, get back here now. Ben? Why do you seem surprised to see me? Good morning, Vanessa. Don't ever say that to me again. Just trying to be nice. I wonder why. Forget that. This is borderline stalking. How did you find out where my first class would be? I'm happy to tell you all that Devante will be ready to have everything set for the scholarship fund event next month. It's really nice that we have something to look forward to when it comes to honoring your sister's memory. Even if we might not be able to solve the case this year, at least we have this to bring us joy when thinking of Elvira. I'm glad you found something to be happy about, Mom. It's not just me, Gianni. This is about the good of the entire family. I'm ashamed that we didn't think about this earlier. You have nothing to be ashamed of, Clarice. Getting justice for Elvira has been our main focus. Because of that, time slipped away from us, keeping us from doing something to honor our precious pearl. Which is exactly why Terry and I put our heads together to come up with this scholarship in her name. Elvira needs to be remembered for something positive. And I can't thank you enough, Esidor. This is unfair. He's manipulating my parents and they can't even see it. Please, Gianni. You sound like a child. I'm tired of hearing how Esidor screwed you over. Don't you think you sound like a broken record by now? Good morning, my dear wife. I'm your dear wife now. You are when I have some exciting news to share. Exciting, you say? That's funny, since you didn't seem to care when I shared my exciting news about the scholarship. If you think that's exciting, then I feel sorry for you. And you think telling me that would make me eager to hear the news you have to share? You should be. Your dear husband is going to be on a documentary. A documentary on unaffectionate husbands? I'm not sure if I should watch it out of curiosity or pass since I'm already knowledgeable on that subject. Was that supposed to be funny? Don't answer that. Neither of us are laughing. I've been approached to speak on a documentary about Elvira Russo. That news is definitely exciting. I told you it would be. The issue is that I think you should keep your big mouth shut and reconsider. Maybe I'm surprised to see you because you didn't let me know ahead of time that you'd be coming. Forgive me for thinking that you would be happy to see me, even if it was a surprise. I'm always happy to see you, Ben. But why exactly did you come? 
Finnegan Burke agreed to take part in the documentary, didn't he? He did. That means you and I need to put our thinking caps on and discuss what needs to be done about it since we got him exactly where we want him. That's fine, but I can't have you stay long. Believe it or not, I've been asking around about you. Don't worry, I believe it. I just wish you wouldn't. You didn't give me a choice, Vanessa. Whenever you spot me, you speed walk the opposite direction. Clearly, I haven't been walking fast enough. Max, I want you to forget that I exist. This isn't cute. In fact, it's sad and you should feel embarrassed. At least let me plead my case. Wow, that was kind of harsh, Heidi. Are you sure about that? Because I could have said much worse. Did you ever care about my idea to begin with? What sort of question is that, Gianni? I literally agreed to help you out when you told me about the idea in the first place. Except the idea was stolen. Oh, really? I wasn't aware after the hundredth reminder. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Enlighten me. What's bothering you? It bothers me that my district attorney wife refuses to help me make Essidor pay for his crimes. I know exactly what you're thinking, Terry. When I was approached, I felt like it would bring bad publicity to the department and to myself. But you were promised to be shown in a good light. How typical. I was promised that I would be shown in a fair light. This will finally give me the chance to share my side of the story after all these years without feeling judged. Is that what you think will happen, Finnegan? You don't think they'll ask you tough questions that will put you in a corner? Of course I'll be asked tough questions, but I was assured that I wouldn't be attacked. Still, I don't like that you've agreed to take part in this documentary. Sucks for you, because what I'm not doing is asking you for permission. What are you rushing me for? Um, I have to get ready for work. I'm sure the news station will understand that you were late when you were dealing with details of the documentary. You might get even more slack when you tell them that you were speaking with me. I could also be at work preparing for the questions that I'll be asking Commissioner Burke for the documentary. If we're going to move forward, then I'm going to have to work fast. And we need to figure out what we're going to do moving forward. You have to understand that we need to discuss that after the fact. The only way we can think ahead is having you find out if there are any holes in what he told me. But we can't find any holes if I don't know what he has to say. All right, I'll let you do what you got to do. Thank you. Don't worry, Ben. I'm going to ask him tough questions about how he handled the investigation. I don't expect anything less. All I ask is that you don't screw anything up. This ain't some court of law. I never once asked you to plead your case. Can you honestly say that you're not interested in anyone who participates in extracurricular activities? I take my morals very seriously. Only if you take the time to know me, I'm sure you'd like me. Look, Max, I don't think that you're malicious. Wow, a compliment. That doesn't make you less annoying. All of those things don't make you more saved either. Good works isn't how you gain favor with the Lord. Your good works isn't going to make me fall for you either. Are you really that adamant about dating a Baptist? I'm adamant that I want a man who actually knows the Lord and doesn't think that belonging to a specific church is what makes him a Christian. I suggest you drop this before bad things happen to you. Is that a threat? It doesn't sound very Christian of you, Vanessa. It's not a threat. It's a warning. You wouldn't want to be confronted by my dad because he can get really scary when he needs to be. How can I refuse to do something which isn't possible to do, Gianni? It's not like we can take the idea back. What do you want me to do? Have him arrested? 
That won't work either because what he did wasn't even illegal. There's one thing we can do. Since Esidor wants to throw this big celebration, I think we can sabotage it. Again, Gianni, how old are you? On top of that, how would that make you look to your parents when they see that you're trying to ruin an event that's supposed to honor Elvira? Do you think you married a fool? At this moment, you don't want me to answer that. Well, you didn't. I'm not saying that I would sabotage it outright. Just in a sneaky way. That way my parents won't have to know that I had anything to do with it. What I find to be ridiculous was that this whole idea about creating a scholarship was your idea. Do you honestly want innocent nursing students to suffer because your feelings are hurt? Knowing that you're trying to taint it is embarrassing. Is that your way of calling me bossy? I don't have to say a single thing, Terry. The only reason I told you about any of this was to just respect you enough to keep you informed. Funny how you don't even realize when you're being respected. You say that you respect me. Then please don't take part in this documentary. All it will do is bring public attention to this family, which is something I don't want. Think about our son. Kids at school might watch this documentary and they might give him a hard time. Give Keeve some credit. He's a solid kid. Never in his short life did he ever care about what other people thought about him. Besides, this could benefit our son, because he'll know that I did everything I could to solve Elvira's case. If anyone is being selfish, it's you. How dare you? No, Terry. How dare you? How dare you not stand by your husband when an opportunity like this is presented to me? If you thought that I was such a screw-up, then you wouldn't have agreed to work with me. Am I wrong? Sorry. That was harsh. It was more than harsh, Ben. I can understand being rude to me in your office and other places, but what you won't do is be rude to me in my own apartment. Are we clear? Crystal. Most of all, I want you to trust me. This documentary is something I value a lot. When I speak with Commissioner Burke, we're going to have a solid plan of what to do after. Count on that. Okay. Let's hope Finnegan is honest and leaves nothing out. No matter what happens, I plan to get every single answer out of him about his knowledge of Elvira's case. Is that your way of saying that being on good terms with your dad will cause me to win you over? Max, I'm going to go to my class and I suggest you find yours. When your class is over, I want you to find a girl who will give you the time of day. Goodbye. The scholarship has already been tainted since Esidor snatched it away with his slimy hands. You want me to be supportive so bad, Gianni? Fine. I support you 100% to do whatever you feel like. Just leave me out of it and don't dare accuse me of being unsupportive. How is it an accusation when the facts are laid before me? Screw you, Gianni. Have a fun day at work. How ironic, Heidi. Funny how you're not the only one screwing me. I don't need to listen to this. No one's forcing you, Terry. I've made my decision, and you're not going to change my mind. Essidor, we have a huge problem. I knew it wouldn't take you long to come crawling back to me.